Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about one of the most requested topics in all of my Q&A sessions, and that's what Coursera certificate should I be working on to build on my data science skills and really get off the ground? You know, I love this topic because I actually used Coursera quite a bit when I was getting off the ground to bridge the gap and help me kind of work on my own project. So Coursera is such a useful tool and I can't wait to share my tips and my favorites with all of you guys. Now. I'm not gonna make you wait to the very end until I share you my top five. I will show you right off the bat and then I'll hop into each and every one giving you some tips when you're going through it and also um, just share some pros and cons about that specific certificate. Now, before we do hop in, as always, definitely like and subscribe. If you do like all this content, your support is so useful. So please subscribe so I can keep growing this channel and keep putting out content for all of you guys, right? Um, I hope you're enjoying all this work and yeah. So with that, here are my top five. So now jumping into each of these, let's hop into the first one. This is Andrew and G's, and I know I might be butchering the last name, but bear with me. Uh, this is his machine learning specialization. Now, I will say, without fail, this is by far the most comprehensive certificate and intro, essentially, course for anyone looking to get into data science, right? So I would always, I would almost say this is a requirement for anyone trying to kind of bridge the gap and build up their skill set, right? So with this one, you go from the basics of just linear algebra to all the way learning about um, object recognition, support vector machines, you learn about recommendation engines, you learn about all the different types of classification models, linear and non-linear models. I'm telling you, you go through every little bit. And what's really good about this course is it really helps you dive into the core fundamentals of each of these algorithms, which I strongly recommend everyone do if they're just getting out the ground. I did this whole course end to end and I really believe I'm better for it. So I'm going to suggest you guys do the same. Now, the one thing I will mention, if you're just going through this course and you kind of just blindly go through and then you just check the box and just assume that the, if the certificate's finished, you're kind of good to go and now you're an expert. That's really not how really any of these certificates work, but especially this one, I really strongly recommend take extra time with this whole certificate and after each course apply whatever you learned to a brand new data set right i'm going to say that one more time right take the code that you have apply it to a new data set that you could find on kaggle and like i said in a previous video you can find on data set on kaggle and just apply what you learned to a new data set if you do that then you really allow whatever you learn to sink in and then that's true growth. And I think after you've done that, or you've had all that repetition, um, you'll really kind of feel more confident when you're either going into the workforce or uh, you're tackling a new project, right? So that can't, that, I, I can't say that enough, right? Really take your time and spend time applying what you learned onto a brand new project. So. If you're going through and you kind of see here that all this is an octave, right? And don't let that discourage you. Online, which I'll actually show you right here, online you can find a Pythonic version of all of these courses. And what's really cool is someone has built it in a way that you can actually uh, submit your responses through Python into Coursera. So everything is completely linked and you can do everything in Python. So even though it says Octave on the actual website, don't worry about it. You could definitely do all this in Python. And as always, all the resources will be in the description so that you can kind of easily find all the relevant materials. So that's kind of all I had to say about this first one. Um, I think you could see the enthusiasm, right? This is so, this one is so important. I really strongly recommend um, anyone interested in machine learning or data science to start here. Um, with that, let's kind of hop into the next one. Number two is the machine learning specialization. So I will put a caveat right off the bat. I actually haven't done this course. I've just heard a lot of good things from colleagues and friends that have also been looking outside of that previous certificate I just mentioned. 
Um, I will highlight and kind of just relay what I've heard from them and also when doing my research what I've heard. This specialization, specialization really gives you a good foundation. You learn about all the regression models, clustering models, etc. I think what people have liked the most about this certificate and this specialization is you get to see a lot of real world examples and within every course you're kind of diving into like really interesting practical examples. So this is a great alternative and also a great supplement. Honestly, I would actually recommend doing one after another if you have the time and you are interested in really kind of building that extra skill set. But because this will help you start thinking about how you can apply everything you've learned to real world problems, which I think is really critical. So I think that's like the one difference within this specialization. I will say course one, the Andrew NG course is a lot more thorough, but this course kind of helps you with that kind of real world exposure, which is really useful. And I think um, building that skill set will help you hit the ground running with any internship or job that you pick up. So that's kind of all I had. Like I said, I haven't done this certificate, but because I've heard about it so much, I really wanted to include it in this video for uh, you guys to check out. So that's two out of the way. Let's hop into number three. Now hopping into the third one, which is the advanced machine learning course from HES. So this is like, you might be wondering, should I be doing these in order? Is there a specific order? And there is some, right? I think if you're just starting out ground zero, you're going to want to start with one of the first two or both of them together, right? That's where you'd want to start. Now with three onwards, really starting to crank it up a bit. Things are getting a little more complex. Models are getting more intricate. The problems are getting problems are getting more difficult. And um, rightfully so, right? If you've gone through the first two, I think you're gonna feel confident and feel ready to tackle um, tackle certificates three, four, and five. Now, why do I like this one, right? This one is a great primer into really complex and more unstructured problems like computer vision, NLP, Bayesian models, and also, which the reason I really, really love this one is there's a course specifically about Kaggle and how to participate in Kaggle competitions. Like I said, this really teaches you how to crank it up and start apl applying your knowledge to more complex and more creative problems within data science. I've done a handful of courses within the certificate. The NLP one is fantastic. You can really learn a lot about um, like recursive models, um, sentiment analysis, etc. You really learn about the core fundamentals of NLP, which I think is really useful. Um, end to end, including the capstone, I think you really get your hands dirty with all of those famous types of models, like I said, computer vision, NLP, Bayesian models, you get your hands dirty. And what's cool is there's also a real world kind of, like a uh, real world kind of aspect to all of these courses, which I think is really great because you, you really get a feel for how you'd apply all of these complex models to things that you may see in your workforce or in your day to day, right? Which I think is a lot of fun and really it helps you kind of sink in your knowledge. Now. Because this is the first certificate I'm showcasing in a more kind of complex setting, I think my tip earlier stands here as well, and that after each course, after you've kind of done anything, you really want to make sure that you are um, taking whatever you learned and applying it to brand new data sets, brand new problems. Um, again, Kaggle is a, magic, a, a great resource for pulling together data sets that you could leverage for this um, for kind of what you've learned in this course, right? So like I said, don't stop at just completing the course, make sure you're actually applying it to uh, brand new problems so that everything sinks in. And I feel like I'm a broken record, but it's really important for this course because things are getting really complex. And if you just brush by it, it's never gonna sink in because these are such complex kind of um, theories and algorithms that you can't, you have to do it justice. You have to really spend the time and let things sink in or else you really won't get anything out of these courses. That's kind of all the feedback I had about this one. Like I said, I have done a few courses within this certificate. Absolutely love it. The teaching style is also fantastic. So definitely check it out and uh, let me know what you think. Now we hop into Andrew NG's second certificate, and that is a part of his deep learning.ai initiative, and that's the deep learning introductory course, right? I call it introductory course, but it's literally takes you from ground zero to being pretty proficient working with some of these deep learning models. It is absolutely comprehensive. And if 
working with deep learning mo models regularly, if applied research is your interest, this is an absolute must. It actually takes you through and shows you how to build some sequential models and convolutional networks from scratch using NumPy. You can't underestimate how important that is in terms of building a solid framework for your future endeavors and any future project. So you might remember my like, only real advice for that initial Andrew NG certificate was take whatever you learn in each section and apply it to your brand, your own data set. That stands here and even more so, right? Because you're really working with pretty complex topics here, right? This is like, it's getting close to the state of the art. You really start to work with transformers, attention, really complex NLP and computer vision topics. It's important that you spend the time and take your time ensuring that you have a solid foundation and you truly have let everything you've learned sink in or else I guarantee you it happens time and time again. You're going to go through it and then you're going to think back and think, try to recollect how something's going to work and it probably hasn't set in and that's just a complete waste of time. So when you go through the first time, take your time, let everything sink in so that you have kind of all the skills that you need to start applying it to brand new topics. Let's see, like what else is there to say about this one? You, you really top, you really tackle every type of deep learning model in this one. It's super comprehensive and it's taught by Andrew and G as well. So you heard what I said about him before. He is a fantastic teacher. He could take complex topics and break it down in a way that anyone can understand. So if you are interested in deep learning, definitely tackle this one. It is fantastic. I went through it. I don't work with deep learning on a day-to-day -day basis, but I went through it just because I love him and I thought it would be fun to learn. And it absolutely was. I feel like I voraciously went through this certificate um, in a matter of weeks, honestly, because it was just that much fun. Definitely encourage it. And I know this is very deep learning heavy and you might think, oh, like I'm not working with deep learning. I don't really need this. And that's not always the case, right? It's really great to learn. And I encourage anyone, regardless of what your goals are to tackle this, because look, these are the, the most creative type of models you can work with. And it just makes data science fun. So that's what it's all about, right? Keep it interesting, keep it fun. So if you have spare time, I encourage you to go through this, even if you don't think you're gonna work on it at work, it's great for your passion projects and you could do a lot with it. So again, like regardless of your goals, I definitely encourage this one. The fifth and final course is actually another course from the Deep Learning AI kind of Institute. And um, I'll caveat this one as well. I actually haven't gone through this course as well, but when I've surveyed um, some of my colleagues who do work in applied research and work with um, deep learning models on a regular basis said, you cannot miss this certificate, right? So many people have mentioned this. And when I did my research, start going through kind of the syllabus, I honestly realized like, I, I can't wait to take this. Honestly, I probably will once kind of things free up a bit because it does seem so interesting. Um, let's take a quick step back and think about the previous course, right? And that was the deep learning overview by deep learning AI. Wow, I cannot talk. Deep learning AI. So that really gives you a very, very strong foundation and shows you how to build things from scratch. It really, like I said, gives you the strong foundation. You do play with TensorFlow a bit, but really not that much. And if you aren't familiar, TensorFlow is the coding framework that is honestly the industry standard for anything deep learning related, right? Built by Google. And like I said, it is, it's like needing to know Python for your first data science position. If you want to work in applied research and work with deep learning, you need to know TensorFlow. So this course actually dives into applied skills using TensorFlow. So once you've got kind of the deep learning knowledge in the previous course, now you're gonna get the true TensorFlow knowledge so that you can then build interesting projects and spin up kind of prototypes in a really quick fashion so that you end up being more efficient and can hit the ground running in any position that you kind of tackle moving forward. So like I said, I think this is kind of the most apt last course for my top five. I think it gives you that edge to build deep learning models by yourself and gives you that kind of that <clears throat> TensorFlow skill that you need to be marketable in the deep learning space, right? And, and applied research, et cetera. So, and like I said, I haven't taken it, but I have folks, 
and friends from Microsoft and at Google, obviously Google, but at Amazon that use this regularly and have recommended this specific course, right? So um, don't, maybe not take it from me, but definitely take it from them. I definitely encourage um, uh, you to take this course if you're interested in, interested in like, boosting your deep learning skill set. So that's, that's all five, right? I hope this format was helpful for you. I think I had a lot of fun building this and I, like I said, I tried to be as transparent and as candid as possible when I talked about each of these certificates. I hope you really got a sense of what are the pros and cons of these and what they have to offer so that you know and you can make a good um, assessment when you're gonna pick which certificate you should tackle. And look, if I were to start right now, this is definitely wh where I would start, right? I'm not, it's not an overstatement, right? For sure, if I were to start, this would be the pool of certificates that I would be starting or kind of taking to build my skill set. Now, that's all I have for this video. If you liked it, again, subscribe and like. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.